Amen. Thank you. You can have your seats. Bring me to speed, Mr. Bailey. Ah, thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, the case before this court is between a wife and a side chick. Your Honor. Excuse me. Me, Mr. Side Chick, you don't address and respect any and deserve. What respect do you deserve? Your Honor, appear me a mourning the death of my hubby. Husband, my foot. Shameless woman, murderer. In fact, Ladies. you're very lucky I brought you to court. Ladies, we can't just start on a high note like this. Yes. I don't even know who I'm dealing with here. Yes, they didn't even let me finish your honor. Go on, Mr. Bailey. Oh, thank you, your honor. Your honor, as I was saying, the case before this court is between Beatrice Mudomi and uh, Miriam Wanja. Beatrice Mudomi here sues Miriam Wanja for the death of her husband, yes. Daniel Muite, who died in the act of coitus, your honor, at Miriam's house in Kileleshwa on 15th February 2011. That is a poster for Valentine, your honor. So this case is number 326 of Act of 21, 2021, your honor. Thank you, your honor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now and I, I understand where this bitterness is coming from. Yeah. Beatrice, what makes you bring Miriam to court today? Well, Your Honor, we are here today just because I'm a very peaceful person and I like where peace and resolve is. Otherwise, I don't also like to be on the side of the accused. Why do you say that? Your Honor, if the law would allow me to revenge my husband's death myself, I would have taught someone's child a lesson they'll never forget for the rest of their lives. Excuse me, are you threatening me? Your Honor, and I need threaten. Miriam, wait for your turn, okay? Okay, sure. Beatrice, the law is here to serve you justice. And it's a good thing you brought the matter to the court of law. I am a very fair judge. Mm, of course. She has been doing this job for 20 years, judging 1,000 cases daily. <gasps> a thousand cases. He's a zote. Hey, madam, I mean many cases per day. Okay. Because there is a lever. Narrate to this court why we are here. Well, Your Honor, we are here today simply because I want justice for the death of my husband. Oh, let me correct myself. For the murder of my husband. Well, I want to mourn him with the respect that he deserves. And also, Your Honor, I want that his soul will rest peacefully knowing that I did to him what he would have done to me. Well, Your Honor, my husband was brutally murdered by this shameless witch standing before the... If you dare insult me again, I swear to God. Hiya. What will you do? Miriam, Nothing. what will you do? Your Honor, I'm just telling her... Just I'm say what you wanted to say. I'm just telling hey. her I'm insult. Okay, who's trying to threaten the other here? This lady, Order. this old woman, and I'm threatening her. I'm not letting Madam. her. Madam. Excuse me. Respect this court. Your Honor, I'm threatening her. Hey. What's going on? Sleek with. Relax. Excuse me. What do you want to say to me? Najifanyapa unamon. Unamon nini? On yourself first, gold digger. Jiangalie. Beatrice, respect this court, okay? I want you to respect this court. We also have other pending cases, or else I will throw your case out. Definitely. I am very sorry, Your Honor. Please pardon me. Yeah, you better be. Listen carefully, ladies. This is not a marketplace. Did you get that right? 
I don't even know. I don't think you really know how a courtroom works. Uh, 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 let me explain to them, Your Honor. Please. Okay, ladies. I want you to listen here very, very carefully, isn't it? The housekeeping rules here. Rule number one. You should always address judge as honorable. Rule number two. Use decent language. Okay? And rule number three. The voice of the judge is final. Don't question, or you take it to the court of appeal. And rule number four, last but not least, ladies, you don't have to go and address your counterpart or question her unless honorable judge allows you. Is it okay with you, ladies? Yes. Now, with that said, let us go on with the matter at hand. Now, this is the thing. You must compose yourself while you are in my courtroom. Are you getting that? Yes. And uh, something else, we must stick to the matter at hand. Now, Beatrice, tell this court what happened. Well, Your Honor. How exactly did your husband die? Your Honor, my husband was found dead in the apartment at K Kileleshwar on the 5th of February 15th, this year. 15th. 15th of February this year. Yes. And how did you find about it yourself? Well, Your Honor, I received a call from the authorities telling me that my husband had died in the same apartment. So as, an, as a good wife that I am, I rushed to the area as fast as I could, mm -hmm. only to find out that the house belongs to this shameless witch standing before our presence today. Mm -hmm. And she was right there shedding crocodile tears and crying, sobbing over my own husband. And Your Honor, the painful part is that when she was pretending to cry, my husband was being moved out of the house in a body bag. I was shocked, Your Honor. Until this date, I have not, I, have not, I don't believe that my husband died. <laughs> I, well, I'm so sorry for your loss, Beatrice. And um, can you confirm to this court that he's the one being referred to as Mr. Daniel Mute? Yes, that is my husband's name. Miriam. How do you know Mr. Daniel and how did he find himself in your house? Well, Your Honor, Mr. Daniel is my hubby. Anakujanga kila siku kwangu. So on the 14th of February, ilikuwa on a previous night here, Valentine. Mm -hmm. So akakujanga. Shut your mouth! Akal Good for nothing! Akaleta, as Your Honor, as I was saying, akaleta chocolate and flowers as always. So we were having a good time, like always. We were having a good time. Mm -hmm. So, in the middle of having a good time, I noticed her breathe. Like, alikuwa juangu na hakuwa anapumua. So, like, I pushed him kidogo. Then, hakuwa anapumua, imagine. Like, nika msongesha kidogo, nika mpepeta uso. But, hapumui. Ya, ona, like, I, I tried kupepeta him. I tried doing everything. Nika mwagia maji, but hakuwa muka. Ya, ona, like, Daniel, my hubby just died. In my arms, imagine, ya, ona. <laughs> So, you wanna, no, I have been dying in my arms. Sorry, sorry. So, 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 sorry, sorry, sister. Sorry. Hmm? Sorry. Sorry, sister. Take heart, okay? Be strong, eh? Uh, you, 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 you mean he died on the act? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, we were having just a good time, you know, just a good time. Hey. Your Honor, he died on the light of duty. She poisoned him. Ras Jum and Akumbembelezianini, husband's nature. Hey, excuse Your me. Your Honor, my family and my husband's family recognize her as nothing but a murderer and a criminal. That is what she is. My wife, Sasa Sijui Mona, I want to say, Mama, I Like, I don't get. Just wait for your turn, Beatrice. Okay. Sorry, Miriam. As I was saying, Your Honor. My family and my husband's family do not recognize her as anything but a murderer and a criminal. And the fact that my husband died in her very own house means that she should be made accountable for that, Your Honor. Beatrice, I truly understand your pain and agony. It's not really easy for someone to lose someone whom you've been married to for how many years? 28 oh, years, Oh, 28. Your Honor. Yeah. 28. I truly grieve with your family. But in court, it really takes more than your word against hers. You must find something that links her with the murder of your husband, other than that, the fact that she was just found with your husband on the fateful day. 
Yeah. Well, your honor, if I was with him at the exact same time, and if he was in my house and he happened to die, I would have said whatever that transpired truthfully. Would you? Yes, I would. Only that it couldn't have happened because I am a very faithful and responsible wife. And not forgetting the fact that I am a loving wife. How you wish. Like, your honor on a job who you alifanya alikuwa na patia my hubby vitu sijuizi na kaji adi akapata diabetes. Can you? Oh, una juani ni wewe? Una juani ni? Yamaza. Una sema ni? Yamaza. Your honor. Shut up. Ulifa. Ulikuwa nataka kumuwa na machakula zako mbaya mbaya. Yamaza. Mimi kumbi unyamaza. Mimi kumbi unyamaza. Tafanya. Your honor na li threaten tena. Your honor. Na li threaten kwa nini? Your honor. Whatever it is that this witch is saying, my husband had battled the diabetes for the past eight years, Your Honor. And come to think of it, Your Honor, ask yourself, if my husband was diabetic for the last eight years, why didn't he die somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Tell me, why didn't he die in another person's house? Only the time that she, he went to this woman's house that he happened to die. Your Honor, doesn't that ring something in your mind that she is the one who the mother I get husband. what you're saying, Beatrice, and for the record, there are no witches in this courtroom. Thank you. And, um, Beatrice. Yeah. Your Honor. Miriam, for how long have you known Mr. Daniel Mute? Um, one, two, three, for three months. Aye? Three months only? Aye? Yeah. Kwa ni likuwa intanshi? Umesikia, Your Honor? Sini nekuambia? This is nothing a but a gold digger. Mwangalie, hata na katu gold digger. It's written over her Mr. Gold Face. I mean. And your honor, I can tell her for a fact. Wewe, Mr. Chana, nisikize. Wewe, kikitu, nisikize. You were not going to get a single penny from what me and my husband worked for. Let me tell you that for a fact. Now, ladies, this court requested for an autopsy to be conducted on the deceased body. And I think we have the results. Mr. Mm. Bailey, do we have the doctor in the house? It is my pleasure, Your Honor. Please bring him in. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Let, uh, let the devil be ashamed. Yeah, let, her Madam, let the devil. Whatever is done in the darkness will be brought to light. The devil is ashamed. Order. Oh, God. Okay. 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 How are you, sir? I'm ah, fine, thank you. Are you Christian or Muslim? I'm ah, Christian. Okay, thank you. Your left hand on the Bible. <laughs> then put your right hand here. And repeat after me, okay? C-I, your name? I, Dr. Patrick Okedo. Yes, do swear. I do swear. That whatever I'll say in this court. That whatever I'll say in this court. It is nothing. It's nothing. But the truth. But the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Dr. Okello. Uh, yes, sir. This court requested for, a t for an autopsy report to determine the cause of death of one Mr. Daniel Mwite. Do you, did you do it? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, my team and I conducted an autopsy on the deceased and were able to find out the result or the cause of his death. Mm. What were your findings? And in Yongwa, Shut Sidio, he was strong. I'm sure Watch he had the mark for being strangled. I'm sure this witch struggled. Doctor, continue. He choked to death, right? Shut up, woman. Tell your own that of one of them. Nani, let's say, man, he was choked to death. I know. Beatrice. This. I know your honor. She made the case. This is your case, but it is my courtroom. Yes. I am, in very, I am in a very good mood today. I don't want to dismiss anybody's case. Definitely. But you are really pushing me. Beatrice, you are really pushing me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Go on, Dr. Uh, your Honor, uh, we were able uh, to get or to obtain uh, the, the medical report from uh, the family doctor, the medical report of uh, uh, the deceased from the family doctor. And uh, it was, uh, according to the report, it was found out that uh, Mr. Daniel Mwite died uh, of diabetes. Thank you. But uh, furthermore, we conducted an autopsy, a forensic autopsy, as ordered by the court of honor. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if you break the doctors. Hey, madam, mind your language. You must have said shit, whatever you are saying. 
sorry, you must honor. be answerable to every bit of what you are saying. Yes. I'm sorry, Your Honor. So, Mr. Kello, what were your findings? Uh, Your Honor, on external uh, examination, huh, there were no peripheral edema of the extremities. Huh? There are also uh, no con areas of conjunction or arrhythmia, Your Honor. Huh? And uh, furthermore, the deceased had no serious uh, marks of uh, huh? a surgical uh, or a dangerous marks. What? So that means that there, were, there were no struggles? Yeah. Uh, y y yes, you see, Your Honor. You see, there were no Sorry. Stop ranting. This is my court. Uh, doctor. Arrhythmia? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, okay. Arrhythmia of the upper chest and uh, anterior neck, Your Honor. Oh, thank yes. you so much. It's okay, Mr. Okello. Uh, yes. I will give okay, my judgment Honor. later. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, no, Your Honor. You see, mine was just to bring the report as ordered by the court, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Uh, here is the report. You may take your seats. You have bombarded us with uh, some... Uh, your Honor, you see, yes. I wouldn't like to bombard uh, your mind uh, by medical uh, uh, terms, Your Honor, but uh, I think that report will enable you to uh, make a sound judgment, Your Honor. Thank you so much. You may have your seats. Uh, your Honor, will it be fine if I just uh, go? You see, I have other matters that are, are of uh, national importance. No, I could take that to them as soon as possible. It's okay, I'll make an exemption. Oh, thank, thank you, Your Honor. Okay, oh, Mr. Okay. Dr. Kello. Yes. Yes, you can bow. Hey. Uh, we'll talk, huh? Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, is there anyone who has anything to say before I render my judgment? Yes. Well, Wambi Your Honor. Your Honor. Ladies, like I said, housekeeping rules. You don't have to attack your counterpart unless Judge says so. Hmm. Is it okay, madam? I'm sorry. Well, Your Honor, as you can see, she doesn't know how to conduct herself. Being a low life and having been raised up to standards with my husband's money. Stick mind. to the subject matter. Ah, uh, sorry, Your Honor. Well, Your Honor, I only want justice for my husband. And Your Honor, the fact that she was the one and my husband was in her house, please, Your Honor, she has to be made accountable for every action. And for the death of my beloved husband. Alikuwa babu wangu, ntamuwaje honestly. Your honor, honestly ntamuwaje babu wangu. You must wait for your turn. Oh, sure. Do you have any proof to what you're saying? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if she was bribed by my husband's enemies. For the fact that my husband was a very successful businessman. And he had a lot of enemies. And maybe she was bribed. Ulipatua pesa ngapi? Eh? They promised you money. How much? My husband would have given you triple the amount you were given. My babe, alikuwa na ni treat poor from January to January. Sasa si June, unasema. January to January, only three months you have stayed with him. Hey, yeah. Your Honor. From your... Monday to Monday, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Your Honor, my husband was a very faithful man. And he was a very responsible man. And he hmm. always had a way of avoiding such kind of traps, Your Honor. And... Faithful? <laughs> so, <laughs> you ladies are very ridiculous. I so, I have realized that your arguments are not adding any, any importance to this case. What I'm saying, my honor, is that my husband was a very faithful man. He never cheated on me. <laughs> was he? Really? Okay. Did you he even was know very him? faithful. <laughs> So, this is just a criminal who was no, paid to kill him. Your listen, honor, I don't I really get what you are... Listen. Can I speak, your honor? I, Oh, Until sorry. I give you the time. Sorry. I don't quite get you very well. You say your husband was very faithful to you, mm -hmm. and today you are here in court mm -hmm. accusing one Miriam for killing your husband. So, explain. Yeah. Well, Your Honor, my husband was a very faithful man. That is what I would say. <laughs> and he died on the act. Okay. I okay. see. Uh, so, apart from her case, was there any other thing that could actually tell you that? Had he gone out of the wedlock or something? Oh, yes. The, this is not the first one. Hey, Nimo Wanawengi, your honor. Eh? There were a lot of, some were even prettier than her, who were going after my husband. Okay. And he always avoided them. And he managed to run away from them. Mm. But this one. <laughs> so, um, Rasujui, it is clear. So I will ask, was your husband the problem or she is the problem? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, my husband was faithful, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> If you insist. Your Honor, my babes hakukua happy kwa marriage yake. He used to tell me that 
this old woman, this mama, alikuwa nga na mfukuza imagine usiku Haya. kutoka kwa nyumba. Mm -hmm. So my babe had to come to my place and alala uko. And what do you even know about marriage? Look, see this little thing. Hold your horses, madam. So, Miriam, yes, for Lord. only three months, he was able to tell you the entire story of his marriage life. Imagine your honor, like we were that close. Mm -hmm. He used to tell me everything that this mama used to do to him. Like, alikuwa na mistreat a lot. To an extent, adia na mnyuma chakula. Can you believe that? Kama unajua nini kusundoa? Ebu niandu unajua nini? Eh? All I know is... Kama unajua nini kusundoa? Kututu wa juzi. Well, when you're a toxic woman and a very manipulative... Oh, you have the audacity to say that I am ranting in this yes, court, right? Yes, mbeba liniambevo, and I trust him. Haya! Na all you can see, niyati weo unaka very toxic. Unaka very toxic. Very and you say, simply because you had the chance to lure my husband, just because you knew his weaknesses, makes you and gives you the courage to talk back to Excuse me. Excuse me, Ladies, I did not find a veranda out there. You can argue all you want, but now that you are here, stick to the subject matter. I'm, going to, I'm not going to repeat myself on this again. Last warning. Your Honor, nimekubali babes wangu alikufa kwangu and I did not say he did not die at my place. But vile alikufa, mini lita ma polisi and they came and they took him away. I understand your sentiments, Miss Miriam. So, what did you serve him when he came? Uh, mm -hmm. We ordered pizza and some drinks. Do pizza. you have any Do you have any proof to that? Do you have any proof to what you've said? Yes, I have the delivery messages and transactions. Of course, from the money you stole from him. Enough, enough Beatrice. You're pushing this too hard. Enough. In, in, indeed, you are one. The messages are here. <clears throat> Good digger. This. Uh, oh, take some water. You can drink some water. I don't get but young washing it for high. Is any in? So, madam. I'm sorry, your honor. Is she the problem or your husband is the problem? Well, as I said earlier, my husband was a very faithful man. He was very faithful to me. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> so, you know, as I, I still insist, I don't really understand your stand. I don't get your stand. At one, at one point, he was cheating on you uh -huh. with Miriam. That's why you brought her here to court, right? You are here again saying he was a very faithful man. So what's your stand? Mm. Help us understand. Mm. I still stand with my husband. He was a very truthful man. Mm. Indeed, he was. Mm. So are you trying to say that she's the murderer? Well, Your Honor, she's a murderer and nothing else to my husband. You have no right to pass judgment in my court. Hey, she is her. innocent until proven guilty. Your Honor, tell her. In fact, I'm also mourning my baby. Nyamaza wewe! Nyamaza! Unasema nini? Just keep quiet. The fact that my husband, Ali Kufa, akijaribu kusatisfy your demonic urges. At least Ali Kufa a happy man, eating vitu ndogo ndogo. The audacity! Vitu ndogo ndogo, nuna ninyonyasha, sinyo? Nita kunyorosha, wale uniti. Ladies, control your sense. Relax, okay? Relax. 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 This case has been adjourned. Okay, this is it. This is it. This case has been adjourned and rescheduled until this evening at 4 30. Until you people know how to control yourselves and act without emotions. Okay. All rise. Quiet. The fact that my husband, Ali Kufa, akijaribu kusatisfy your demonic urges. At 
At least alikufa a happy man eating vitu ndogo ndogo. The audacity. Vitu ndogo ndogo unaona nionyesha sio? Nitakunyorosha wale uniti. Sasa nitakunyorosha. Nitakunyorosha unaniambia nini? Unaniambia nini wewe? Relax. Nitakutandika utaamini. Ladies. Una umsana. Control your sense. Relax, okay? Relax. Relax. Things. Kutosemea hapa. Nitakutandika wewe utaamini. Muone. Beatrice. Sasa kwanza. Wewe, wewe. Relax. Same hapa. We. All rise. Have your seats. Oh, okay, thank you, Your Honor. This is the case number 326 of 2021. Hereby, uh, Beatrice Mudomi sues Miriam Wanja for the death of her husband. Okay? Uh, as you had dawned early in the morning and you say that you'll pass your judgment at 4.30 p.m. Thank you, Your Honor. I won't take more time. Having gone through the medical report of the deceased, the autopsy report, and having listened from both of you, I am satisfied with the findings that are sufficient to make my judgment. But before I make my judgment, I have the following to say. Um, Madam Beatrice, Thank you so much for bringing this matter to the court of law. And it is a very good example to lovers and couples out there who like taking matters into their own hands. You know, people kill each other, left, right, and center. Right, Mr. Bailey? You are very correct. You are. Yeah. So it was a very good thing and a very bold step of you to bring this matter to the court of law for legal hearing and also legal sentence. Uh, I would also like to tell you people to always talk to your partners. Investigate your speculations. Talk to the authority for legal advice. And you, uh, Miss Miriam, I will not justify the fact that you are going out with a married man. Mm. But you should always know what you are getting yourself into. This court could find you guilty of murder if we find sufficient evidence uh, before this court to prove so. Yes, she's guilty. A murderer, a killer. As I said it. I said it is my time to talk, Beatrice. Sorry, Your Honor. Now the records and evidence presented before me proves that the deceased died of sudden cardiac arrest, mm -hmm. or also known as cardiac arrest, contrary to what has been brought before this honourable court that Miss Miriam killed Mr. Daniel Mwite. So this court therefore finds Miriam not guilty as charged. Case closed. Yes. All rise. The case is adjourned and closed, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you.